Earlier in the month, we had a little bit of a hunch about Black Ops 4's second update of the month. We saw that we got update 1.11, not this last Tuesday, but the Tuesday before that on January 15th, in which we got a lot of different things, a lot of which dealing with zombies, naturally for element 115, January 15th. And then we also got things in the way of blackout, such as the brand new stash interface and a slight reduction to concussion grenades, but only in the stack level. And multiplayer got some cool new features in terms of game modes and then elevation of Madagascar were put into the regular rotation or for a little bit before a little bit of a bug kind of put a wrench in that plan. But regardless, we got an update as the 15th, but we knew we were gonna have another one because Black Ops 4 was supposed to have league play coming at the end of January. We were supposed to get match three camos for blackout and zombies as of the end of January as well, among other things coming too. But that said, we finally now have some confirmation that that update is coming as of the 29th, that being this upcoming Tuesday, and Treyarch previewed a little bit of what's on the deck for Tuesday and a little bit beyond, some of which might not necessarily be your favorite cup of tea. We'll talk about all of that here in this video today, so let's just jump right into it. First things first, they kicked off by announcing that, of course, this weekend currently from today, already starting until Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you have the ability to earn double XP and double weapon XP in multiplayer. Zombies fans just had their double XP extravaganza for the 115 day celebration that was, I believe, lasting just about a week in which you had double XP, double weapon XP, and double nebulium plasma. But for multiplayer, it's now that turn to get that. I'm still hoping for something in the near future with a double merits or double tier progression because blackout friends you need something to rank up for and also double tier progression well who doesn't love that that's going on from right now until 10 a.m pacific standard time on monday so get your fill in this weekend hopefully you don't have too packed a schedule so you can grind out some of your favorite stuff in black ops 4. they also did then confirm that 1.12 will be rolling out next week with the first content drop starting on tuesday so as for the first things up on deck that were described that being some blackout changes we talked about these in depth yesterday so i'll kind of try and keep it rather simple and to the point here at this one, but tuning for armor, concussions, and cluster grenades are coming for Blackout. The armor, we talked about level 3 in particular yesterday, but it turns out that the damage protection for all armor types, level 1 through 3, are going to be reduced. So it's not going to sponge as many shots, you're going to still take damage while being shot in the chest where that body armor is, but that's not to say that armor is going to be useless. It's still going to serve its purpose, but just not as much protection as before. Level 3 armor will no longer include additional damage protection against explosives explosive and melee attacks, which is definitely something I'm sure a lot of people were interested in hearing. And then also for level three in particular, it's going to take two armor plates to repair one tick of health when in that repair process. So that's something that should not allow players to spam level three armor as much as it has been. As for concussions, there's going to be an effect duration reduction, so it's not going to last as long. The area of effect is going to be tightened, so it's going to be smaller. You have to be closer to that enemy to end up getting that concussion fully off. And then the throw distance for concussion grenades is also going to be reduced as as well. So both from a defensive standpoint and using it to your advantage, there's going to be some all around changes to that one. Additionally, the outplay mechanics are going to be introduced with concussions as well. We talked about that being able to swap your weapons through equipment back and then also melee while still concussed. And as for clusters, detonations are going to take one second longer here at that, increasing that time that you have to react to the grenade coming at you. And then damage reduction for the mini clusters is going to be applied as well. So the secondary blast is not going to do as much as before. It's possible there is more more in terms of what's coming to Blackout on Tuesday because they do say to stay tuned for the full patch notes, but that's something that we already knew about and now is going to be fully confirmed for coming as of Tuesday. Next up, let's talk about some zombies additions and changes here because classic and loot weapons are now going to be added into zombies. So that means that five additional weapons are coming to zombies next week. The MP40, the Grav, the Damon 3XB, the SWAT RFT, and the Cap 45 are going to be in the mystery box for every Black Ops 4 zombies map for all players. So that said, even if you don't have them, say you didn't get to tier 100 in the black market contraband stream, you still have access to it, but the customization for those in terms of, say, attachments, it seems like, is going to be unlocked once you end up getting that through the black market. So you can use them even if you don't have them unlocked, but to actually fully customize them, that's where it's going to restrict you a little bit. Next thing they detailed was Blackjack's gun game coming back to multiplayer. This has been in the game a couple of times, but it's going to be interesting to see because now we have an additional DLC. DLC weapon, that being the Cap 45, that seems like it will be on rotation within this gun game. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the first time that we'll see the Secret Santa as well as potentially the Sleigh Bell on rotation as well. That might be one of the melee weapons that maybe it rotates out every couple of games because you do have that combat knife once, but 
Maybe they end up doing multiple tiers of it. Who knows? We'll see. But that's something you can look forward to if you're somebody that likes to play around with some more party modes. Blackjack's gun game is coming back to multiplayer. They also detailed in terms of game modes that Ambush 100% is coming, which actually, making a video here before this update even came out, I was talking a little bit about Ambush, and unbeknownst to a lot of us, Treyarch actually confirmed this a couple of days ago, but it didn't really get much press behind it because it was just a reply to somebody on Reddit. The original post was talking about how it's leaked on the COD app, but then Treyarch kind of came in and just said, yeah, it's, it's happening. So it was cool to see that, but they finally fully acknowledged it here as the next limited time mode, and it's going to be available as of next week, back to back with Down But Not Out. So Down But Not Out is going to leave on PlayStation 4 on Wednesday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, but come 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Wednesday, that's whenever Ambush is going to take its place. So I just one for one trade there. As for what this is, it's going to be a game mode in which all you have is snipers as well as melees, and then finally launchers. So you don't get all that much to work with, you have the Koshka, you have the SDM, you have the Outlaw, you have the Paladin, your melees of probably the Secret Santa as well as the Bowie Knife, maybe the Slay Bell thrown in there, and also your launchers of the Hellion Salvo. But that's about it. You don't really have much to work with, so make sure you try and take as many long-range engagements as you can because, well, it's all a game of perfect timing whenever you get close quarters with some melee weapons going up against each other. So that'll be interesting, but keep an eye out for that one. I'm super excited to play that. But then, after that, they talk a little bit about the next gauntlet coming to Zombies on PlayStation 4. This one dealing with the Map 9. We just saw that we had the Unsinkable Gauntlet, and we kind of theorized that maybe we'd get more of these coming for each map, maybe multiple for each map, but 9 is definitely that next one up on deck that's going to be coming as of the 29th on playstation 4 and again it's 30 rounds of brand new challenges and a race against the clock to showcase that you're the best speed runner of all these to all your friends i'm curious to see how this one plays out if you played any of unsinkable or the voyage of despair gauntlet it was a ton of fun i'm excited to see what's on deck here with nine especially because that's one that for a lot of players is a much easier map so it might be a more welcoming experience than the gauntlet on voyage but regardless Super stoked to see how this one plays out. The next thing I talked about was regional blackout playlists, and for a lot of us, this might not necessarily have any effect on us at all. But for the players that have smaller populations in terms of player count, including the regions of South America and South Africa, you may have seen some posts about this. They only have one blackout playlist at a time. And that's simply because if they were to break it up even further, you would not be able to find a game that was populated enough to make it worthwhile. So instead, they put everybody into one playlist to hopefully help provide a more fluent gameplay experience. And while it's not ideal in any capacity, Treyarch are trying to amend this a little bit by offering a rotation now at this point. They said they're going to start introducing regional playlists that'll be on rotation and will shift every couple of days. So you'll have solos one day, duos the next, quads the day after that, and then maybe a limited time mode thrown in the mix as well. So while of course the situation is not ideal for anybody involved, it is nice to see that there's a little bit of an attempt to make the experience as best as possible. So hopefully that's something that proves to be a better experience for players in those areas. I know that just simply based off player population, it's something that's really hard to make a situation better than it already is, but hopefully that's a step in the right direction. Then the final two things they talk about are the two biggest things that we've known about for quite some time. The first one, dealing with the incoming camo progression in Blackout, Mastercraft and Reactive camos in the Black Market camo support for Zombies, and Mastery camos in Blackout and Zombies. So a lot of things regarding camos in more specifically in Blackout and Zombies. So what they say is we're also planning on launching Blackout's full camo progression system following the initial rollout of the 1.12 update, as well as support for mastery camos in Blackout and Zombies. These features work a bit differently compared to the current camo systems in multiplayer, and we'll be putting the finishing touches on them shortly after releasing the update listed above. Support for Mastercrafts, Reactive Camos, and Black Market Camos in Zombies is also planned to go live in this time frame. Now, that's something that I'm very excited for. I am super stoked to have some camo support within all of those modes and having mastery camos to grind out, but the one thing I'm kind of curious on is that is this going to be something slightly delayed? They end up saying rolling out after the initial update, and then that they'll be putting finishing touches on them shortly after releasing the updates. So I don't know exactly what the time frame is of this, but it seems like it's going to be initiated with this update on Tuesday. So as for what we're actually going to see as that update drops on Tuesday, your guess might be as good as mine here at this one. I think we'll at least get some camos coming out then, but the full scope of it is still kind of vague to me. Regardless, we're going to be getting something with this update. And then finally, the last thing, and probably the biggest save for last, just in the way they detailed it, was leak play. 
And this might not be exactly what a lot of people were wanting to hear, but they said we'll have more news to share next week about the upcoming rollout of League Play and the World League Hub. So right there, it doesn't seem like we're getting this released as of Tuesday, but more than likely, it's going to be something that comes with the update. We just won't have it available to play at the moment. And even if that's not the case, we're still going to get a lot of information in their blog post on Tuesday talking about it coming up. But I'm curious to see what this means then for the release date, because we thought it was going to be late January the entire time, but this kind of contradicts that. But also, it was said earlier on that if it's not ready, they're not going to push it out prematurely. So... I guess it is what it is, and I'm curious to see what exactly they mean by Tuesday's update and the more information we get here out of this. But that said, that is the update that Treyarch gave us previewing Tuesday and the upcoming 1.12 update. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Is there anything in particular that you guys were hopeful to see and maybe didn't? Are you guys excited for anything in particular here coming out of this? I know that I'm super stoked for not only the camos in Blackout and Zombies, but I'm also really stoked to try the Nine Gauntlet and the new Ambush game mode in Blackout. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hopefully enjoy the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things black ops 4 multiplayer blackout zombies we got you covered the best of updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff so if anybody interests you with that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing you guys also to follow me over on twitter and instagram there's the best places to get connected outside of youtube practically live on both those so if you guys want to check up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there in the description below well it's heading out of the way i hope you guys had a fantastic day thank you all so much for watching modern espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace